Hello, 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 dreamers. And welcome back to Dream Queen by Pergon. It's your turn, love. <sighs> Capricorn. This is your reading for the week of June 13th to the 19th. We Belong Together is your song. And that playlist is going to be down below in the description. Uh, this past weekend, and I don't know why that's coming in. The, there's been a lot on your mind. There's been a lot of thinking. Um, a lot of creative energy, I think, trying to come through. And a, a lot of you cappies are... I guess trying to figure out how to put all of this creative energy, all of these ideas, etc., into into motion. Okay, let's see. There's a play power um in play between you and another person, whether it's in love or a friend or a family member. Excuse me. Hiccups. Um, I feel that whoever it is that you're having this power struggle with, this person is fixated, fixated on your past or who you were in the past. They're blinded because of hurt and pain. In their own personal life and and it could be capricorn pain that you caused or pain that they cost you on your reaction etc it doesn't really matter the whole point is that this person is failing to see your growth and who you are now so they're still judging you based on things that you did 15 20 30, 30 years ago etc and you're in this energy where you just don't want to deal with that bs so you are going to be a little sarcastic this week when responding to this person, when responding to whatever it is, because it's like this person wants to force you to believe that you're still that person from the past. So I do, I do see a little of like, Someone getting very frustrated with you because they're not getting the reaction that they want from you. So you're not, there, there is a sense here of like not playing into someone's game and like almost ignoring them. And that is really pissing somebody off. What about love? What about love? I have no idea. Um, there is... Hmm. There is somebody that's trying to come come towards you. Um, why is it overshadowing like that? Um, this person is dealing with something personally like in their life. Maybe like an ex or I don't know. Something is pulling. No, I don't want to say pulling but holding them down if that makes any sense. They do think about you a lot. I don't feel that this is somebody that you've actually had a relationship with. I feel that this is somebody that maybe, uh, because you see here, there is in the past two people coming towards each other, all right? But never actually getting to each other. So this could have been somebody that you brief like you met briefly and you guys had a really cool connection and exchange number but nobody reached out or maybe you guys were texting calling etc but then all of a sudden it's like it just ended it was like an abrupt ending right i do see this person wanting to reach out but then there's something hidden there there may be like shame or embarrassment because they ghosted you or whatever it is that's going on in their personal life. 
maybe they lost their job or something and they're like I, I don't know there's something there not letting me see what it is so I can't tell you but there's something there um, again this could have been an ex that came back I, I don't know I, I'm not gonna guess because they're not telling me anything can I get clarity on what this is uh, that hidden thing could either be embarrassment for ghosting you and like not being honest with you when they ghost you or the reason why they ghost you is the embarrassment. I do see them though coming coming towards you and really trying to make an effort. For some of you, it's definitely somebody from their past. Somebody came back from their past. And they were unsure. Because again, I, I don't I'm not look I'm not seeing this as if like the two of you are actually like in a relationship. There was a connection there, like a spark or something. And they decided to either give this person like their their ex or whatever, like another chance or whatever, but that quickly faded because it's like they can't stop thinking about you they can't stop thinking about you and that spark between the two of you but then there is hesitation or fear of like not wanting to reach out either fear of rejection or fear that you've blocked them or something But I do see these two people, like this person and whoever they try to work things out with, going their separate ways, separate ways, and them running towards you, towards you, letting you know, like, it's almost like an apology of like, I know we didn't have anything, but like, it's almost like they want to be 100% honest with you because they really do want to see if there's something between the two of you all right i'm gonna go ahead and get three tarot cards for you capricorns and then an oracle card from the isis oracle it's like this person feels like you came into their life for a reason and they they don't want to let go of that they don't want to let go of the they don't want to live in regret as, like, what if. Like, it's almost like, even if they didn't go back with their ex, they were thinking about it. And it's almost like they'd rather start something fresh than go back to what they already know. I don't know. It's, it says weird. Again, they're not really showing me anything. We have the Seven of Potions came out. The Ten of Needles. What else? One more card for it. And the Four Potions in the reverse. So here we have the Seven, the Seven of Potions, the Ten of Needles, and the Four Potions in the reverse. So yeah, th there's definitely this energy of somebody choosing wrong or somebody wasting time or somebody um, basically like holding on to, to somebody from their past. But it's like either they talked about fixing something with somebody from the past and it quickly like went downhill or they tried and it's like within like a week or two it was like all back to the same patterns so there is definitely like this somebody is there is a connection that is breaking apart or it's ending in order for this person to come towards you and you're gonna find out if it is somebody that you just had a spark with like where things really didn't move 
like you guys didn't really date or went on a date or anything like that you're gonna find out because this person is gonna be completely honest with you so what is the oracle card for capricorn scales of balance ancient tantra of the song so yeah, so I, I just feel like when it comes to you, Capricorn, you're <laughs> Capricorn, you're coming out like a bitch to a lot of people. You are in this energy of you want to walk away? I'll open the door. I'll hold it open for you to go with your luggage. You want me to drive to the airport? <laughs> you you know what you want you know who you are and you're done playing games and you're done with allowing people to get you to that place where you get out of character so this week if you haven't already experienced this Capricorn, you're, you're, you're very balanced within yourself and everything around you is balancing out. So there's a huge increase and a huge, huge change coming for you. This week is the initiation of that change. And I feel that that initiation is coming from other people seeing your balance and seeing you. And there's nothing but going up from here, Capricorn. And I don't know what I have to tell you that, but this is the beginning of the life that you always wanted to live. And you need to hold on to that this week, Capricorn. Especially if that ex or that person that wants to trigger you, just be like, you know what? They're part of, they're part of the past, leaving them right where they are. Well, Cappies, that is all that I have for you for this week. As always, guys, thank you for all your love and support. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel as well as donating. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, liked, or shared, definitely encourage you to do so. It definitely helps with growing the channel and getting the video out there for more people. <sighs> If you would like a private reading, link to my website is down below along with the links to all of my social media accounts. Capricorn, get ready to live all your dreams. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.